Hey there guys, this is Obsidian Chill. Got another video for you today. This is coming from the test server, a part of it, the new episode, 47, Brainiac Returns, with a release date most likely later in May, but it has not been officially released yet. We are taking a look at the duo, uh, the regular version. This is the Overrun Area 51 duo. Uh, presently, we do not have an elite version on test server. It hasn't been released yet. I'm sure it's coming. Uh, most likely, they typically don't do elite plus versions of a duo uh, or solo, so I wouldn't be expecting that. So in, in terms of Area 51, this is basically the Brainiac controlled Area 51, uh, taking it back here. So with, with Superboy, I would say in general, this duo was still a work in progress. So, I mean, it was just released. Uh, it was delayed from the initial release on Tesla. That's why uh, the video hasn't been showing up until now. Uh, so obviously there was a reason for the delay and that, that it's still kind of a work in progress. But uh, at least we have at least the duo to could take a look at. And also the advantages of having run the duo. Now I can complete the OP head mission and, and work on that uh, OP head guide as well. Um, with the update here that happened last night on test server, that the Elite Renown is not available yet, so I can't actually have the Elite gear. With the Super Bowl fight, I mean, this is going to be different in Elite because regular is just going to die too quickly. Uh, but there seems to be some other related mechanics related to Superboy uh, that are timer based. Uh, that uh, he's typically is supposed to uh, heat vision, which wasn't uh, present in our basically 30 second fight or so. Uh, and then he's also got some kind of sonic gun attack, which is related to an augment rank. Uh, that he didn't do as well. So it seems like that was the timer-based one. So you may not notice it in regular. It may be more in elite uh, just because of how quick the boss fight will be. But other than that, typically with Area 51, how the developers have set up this in kind of the past, because Area 51 is a massive map. Uh, so basically, we just go to different sections. So at the, you know, at the very section uh, back there, we fought the boss. Now we're going to the section kind of section, second area, I guess you could say, of Area 51, where we fight the next sub boss. And then the, the third part will be most likely they're not going to bring us all the way to the very end of Area 51, like where the dropship was from the original alert. But uh, at least it gives us an impression here. So other than that, we're just killing some ads kind of in the open area until the door opens. For, there appears to be another bug that these these NPCs are tracking to an open world mission, which uh, don't appear in open world. And then you'll see a second bug with that red tornado proc that you just saw around me. That's related to the, the distribution module, the new tank artifact. But you'll see that I'm not in tank stance and I'm not even wearing the artifact. Uh, but it seems to be some related uh, DPS bugs for that. So you can disregard that for now. So technically the, the duo, you saw the raid footage and the elite footage first. So technically the duo is what you're supposed to run in order. So this is kind of like the introduction, like story-wise, this is going to be the introduction of Brainiac. Uh, you saw some cutscene issues. The first cutscene, Martian Manhunter is missing. This cutscene with the regulator, I mean, he's kind of zoomed up a lot. Uh, I don't think that's as necessary. But uh, with the regular as well, we, we fight him for, I mean, what, 10, that was like 5% health we did. And then he basically just runs out into the courtyard. I believe that's intended because you'll see here that it's going to be related to a cutscene. But, I mean, personally, I don't know why we started in the room. If he's going to immediately basically exit and bring us back out here anyway, with us chasing him. But uh, other than that, with the regulator... This one pretty much reminds me of if you. I, I'm not sure the exact duo, but it's you know the the ones in South Gotham, the uh, the South Gotham duos, basically those bottled ones. Uh, I don't know if we fought the exact regulator, but it seems like his mechanics are, are kind of from there as well. But uh, we've got the exploder bots, we've got these pellet drones. Uh, he he bottles you as well as you're getting attacked from the turrets up above. But this is where I think, since that cutscene with him, with uh, being knocked into the wall, uh, I'm assuming the fight has to take place outside. I'm just not sure what's the point of it taking inside. We might as well just start the boss out here. And then we're going to go to the next section where we fight uh, Bizarro. But the other thing with, with Air 51, the reason why, I mean, personally it doesn't make as much since it's a dual map, is it because how massive it is. You saw all these groups of ads. Obviously, there's no intention for us to fight all these ads. And then if you get like a, you know, if you're pugging or you're not familiar with this map where you know you can skip, then you might be stuck kind of killing everything where you just waste like, you know, an additional five, six minutes just trying to defeat all those ads, which are not necessary whatsoever. It just seems like you could leverage Area 51 for pretty much like a, like, <laughs> It's it's pretty much a raid map at that point. I mean, it was, it was used in alert in the past, but it was a massive alert as well. It's just a giant map with the different sections. Same thing as like you know, Bloodhaven. But the concept here with Bizarro is that we defeat him, 
and then we have to heal them. So you're going to sec see in a moment where some heal barrels spawn, this Mads will come up to try to deal damage to him, and then basically you're just healing him back up. So, it, I mean, it could be a little bit more interesting Elite. That's why it would be nice to bring in the Elite version of it, just to see more kind of fleshed out. Same thing, that's the Red Tornado bug there, so don't uh, ignore that. So now, Bizarro, we defeated him, and we're taking these health barrels to heal him, and then basically killing the ads that spawn at the same time. So, you know, you use barrels to heal Bizarro. There was an Elite feat um, that t basically tied to this before, but it seems like the barrels don't spawn as quickly, or like you're going to have one player designated for the barrels, like Mr. Fix it here, or and then myself, I'd be killing ads. But it certainly could be something a little bit extra in Elite, uh, where you may necessarily need to tank to separate the ads, especially if the ads are going to keep attacking Bizarro to lower his health. And then you'll see here this kind of health barrel that's kind of floating in midair off to the side. I thought I would do my part and you know smash at least one barrel. That this is essentially the duo. I think it's going to be much more kind of fleshed out in, in Elite, where, you know, we're not expecting too much from a regular duo anyway. It just kind of sets up the story, you know, gives a, a nice quick run. Five, six minutes is probably about average for a duo. So we'll have to see where the Elite duo runs. We, we've had certainly some interesting duos in the past, especially the Elite version. So uh, when the Elite one comes out, I'll certainly still bring that. I just want to make sure I brought the duo uh, just so that you guys are aware of it and saw what it kind of uh, would look like as well. So this is uh, the update here. I will continue as soon as there's updates to the artifacts. I'll bring those videos as well as the OP guide and everything else. So take care guys. Thanks again for watching.